If you thought witch doctors were a thing of past, think again. I sold my soul to Satan, but they are conditioned. You had opened the door to yes. demonic spirits. Exactly. What happened? Join us around the table as we dive into the consequences of engaging in the occult. You need to understand that every kind of sin that you're committing down here, there is a price to pay. Right now on Joni Table Talk. I have a lot of great friends. It would behoove you to listen to what I got to say. We love to get together and talk. I really see myself as a compassionate person, and people really matter to me. No topic is too shocking, and no subject is too tough. One thing that I love in my life as a minister of the gospel, to see the captive being set free from the bondage of the evil one. My friends have an opinion about everything. I can't help it. So grab a seat and join the conversation. This is Joni Table Talk. Welcome to Table Talk. Today we'll be discussing a topic that Hollywood and the rest of the world seems fascinated with, the occult. And I promise you, this is one discussion you don't want to miss. Joining me around the table today is my dear friend, Melanie Brando. How are you? I'm wonderful. Awesome. I'm glad to be here. And also my dear friend, Benita Arterberry Burns. How are you? I am so blessed. Are you blessed? Happy to be, yeah. Well, it's always to good to have you, you here. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And you learn a lot from being learn here. Learn a time. lot. I yeah. know. <laughs> Well, me, me probably should be both. paying tuition or something. <laughs> we, we love it. And Cindy Murdoch, how are you? I'm great, thank you. It's so good to have thank you. you. And good our to be here. very special guest, Pastor Ahambe, is here. Welcome. Thank you, thank you very much. God bless you. So I good to have you. Thank I you. I said, very do you feel much. safe with all these ladies at Table Oh yeah, today? I feel safe. <laughs> okay. Women are more secure than men. Let's tell a little bit of your testimony for those viewers that may not have heard your story. I know yes. you, we've shared it many times, yes. but uh, we've never shared it on Table Talk. So let's go back to the beginning. You were raised in uh, the I Congo was, area. Yes, I was raised in Congo. It used to be called Zaire. Yes. And the country has changed names several times. And um, raised by a Christian family. My father and mother was trained by American missionary, well trained. They knew the Bible cover to cover, but yet one thing was missing in their life. It was the power of the Holy Spirit. And uh, I was raised as a, every child looking for success. Uh, one, as the firstborn in Africa, uh, you are automatically going to take uh, responsibility of your family. So that's mean you have to do well in school. And uh, so one day you can graduate and uh, find a job and take care of your family. So as you know, Sister Johnny, I was suffering with what you call a lack of intellectual capacity. I was the last of my class. That pushed me to go and start seeking help. I went to church and uh, did not get that help from, the, from, from, from my pastor that time. Why? I don't blame him because uh, he did not know about the power of the Holy Spirit. It takes the Holy Spirit to set mankind free. Mm -hmm. So I had that desire, I start searching. And if the church cannot provide what mankind are looking for, because I believe the church today is a spiritual hospital where man goes with their problem and their struggle. And if a man of God is not uh, uh, filled with the Holy Ghost, does not believe in the filling of the Holy Ghost, those people are gonna come desperate. They can leave the church with their monkey on the shoulder. That's what happened to me. Uh, I went to see a friend, talked to a friend. He said, I know somebody who can help you. When I went to see this witch doctor, look at me straight in the eyes and start telling me about things I wanted to hear about the future. And uh, he told me, first of all, about, he spent most of his time telling me about the past. And then he started telling me about my future. And one of the things he said, you know, I see you traveling, going a far away country, and that will be America. And uh, start telling me all these things. Say, one of the things you are suffering is a lack of intellectual capacity. And I can help you. I can help you. And this was like music to your ears. Oh, it was music to my ear, and I loved it. You know, when you hear the good word or you receive a good prophecy for a man of God, it will make your soul happy. 
you will feel encouraged regardless of the suffering, the pain that you're going, you're going to be so excited. That's exactly. I thought this witch doctor knew God more than my pastor. That's the thing attracted me because well, I was suffering. And because one of the things, the area that you lived in, there, there was a lot of the occult and witchcraft and supernatural things yes. that took place. So that yes. when you didn't see the power of the Holy Spirit stronger and in operation in the church, then many of the young people like yourself would be drawn towards this supernatural power that was not from God. Exactly. It was indeed real. Exactly. So that's what I encourage men and women of God to spend most time in prayer, fasting, and, and just to allow the Holy Spirit. God is willing to set the captive free. That's yes. one of the reasons yes. the church is here on earth, yes. to well, set the good. captive free. And so you went to the witch doctor and said, um, yes, w what do I have to do to, yeah. to have all these things happen in my life? And what did he say? Did he say it's free? Oh, yeah, he said free. Of course, in Africa, the one who has a, a power from the devil will not ask you one dollar. He won't ask you no money because he's after something. He's after your soul. soul. Yes. Wow. And he didn't ask me anything. So I went and said, hey, what is it going to take for me to get what I want? He said, son, no problem. Come and I'll give you what you desire. Finally, he wind up giving me power to seduce women. I was able that time, I can just look at the woman without talking, having conversation. A woman will be behind me. So I wind up having, I don't know, my God, 100 something girlfriends. Sex became a hobby, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And then he say, I will, I will help you to be able to get, to get, uh, to get uh, 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 power. Uh, you'll be passing your classes. I wind up having a magical pain. Uh, okay, they were asking me a question, and that question orally I wasn't able to answer. But by writing, uh, they'll be answering all the questions, but ask me the same question I just answered. <laughs> nothing. My head, nothing. But what was really behind the pain it was a demon spirit. Demon have the ability, the church today, they are minimizing this teaching. Teach the people that the devil still have power here on earth. He's working, looking who he may devour. And his enemies are in, in the churches today. So the, so the witch doctor gave you a magic pen. Yes. And so when you would go into your classes to take your test, mm -hmm. if you had been failing, yes. he said, use this pen. You're and you pass. Would succeed. So you'd go in and the pen would write for you. You would write, answer all the question, A plus, but ask me the same question I just answer, zero. And I start passing my classes without giving anything to the witch doctor. Hmm. My goodness. And, and after having that, I had whatsoever I was looking, women, I had uh, uh, success and everything, so called success, which was not really success. And uh, finally, I sold my soul to Satan. Just for somebody maybe listening like myself, when you sat and talked with the witch doctor, you were a Christian. Did, did he, you said he, you believed he knew the Lord. And so that kind of drew you in. But did he ever, did you know that witchcraft was about evil? To me, he was a, a man that knew God because of that the supernatural so power that is really okay. attracting our children today. Yes, that's they are, I mean, a lot of them comes to me with uh, what you call automatic writing here in America. Mm -hmm. Messed up. So finally there was a price. There was a price. So, but he drew you in, but finally he said, if you want to continue to experience these things, there's yes. something you have to do. What was that? You need to understand, everyone who's involved into the occult, there is a price to pay. That price, first of all. A lot of time they're going to ask you to give a human being sacrifice. Mm. In Africa, when you go and see a witch doctor who does not uh, ask you for money, know that to the end, even these people who are in Hollywood and have a big position and even some basketball players, they have sold their soul to Satan so they can have success and power. So what's happened? They requested. The man requested to say, I need a living, a living being sacrificed. Things that I have not probably shared here because my testimony, I'm very careful when I'm sharing because okay. he has created me a lot of problems and a lot of attacks. So, but the bottom line is that he said, it's time for you to commit 
your soul to who? To, to Satan. Did he say Satan? Did he say well, Lucifer? he won't tell you Satan. They will draw you with beautiful words, yeah. which doctors sometimes they can even use the Bible. They have the Bible there. Mm -hmm. You're going to think it's coming really from God, but it's just to, to manipulate you and mm -hmm. get to suck you with sweet word. Mm. Wow. And, um, and finally, I uh, gave a soul, I sold my soul to Satan, but they are conditioned. They were conditioned that I wasn't supposed to eat pork meat. I ate pork meat. I wind up crazy out of my mind. For three years and a half, 24 hours, I could not sleep. I became retarded. That's how I used to be, like this. Saliva all over the places. My face, Sister Johnny, was coming to my nape place. My nape place was coming to my face place. That means the way I'm sitting here, I will see you but uh, three different, uh, 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 three vision. But the person, no, no, the, if, if I'm sitting like this, I won't see you. I'll see the person behind me. Okay, well, don't move. When Table Talk returns, Pastor Humbe's dramatic deliverance. We'll be right back. That they call Jini, like Ayatollah Khomeini. Mm. He's a kind of man who, have, man who have the ability to see what will come. So this particular person had a spirit. So he told me, say, okay, now it's time that you have to make a covenant with our master. First of all, they know that you are a Christian. You believe in Jesus. They don't want to tell you to make covenant with Satan. They won't say no Satan. They won't say no Lucifer. Until, because when you start in occult or witchcraft, they'll go with you lulu by lulu. First of all, they'll go with you through the word. And then when you get higher, and then that's when you're going to see things that you, you have not seen before. Mm -hmm. So he told me, say, okay, I'm uh, going to give a covenant. Covenant with who? Well, with our master. Mm -hmm. You know, and that time, because I was perishing for the lack of knowledge, the Bible says, my people are perishing for the lack of knowledge. Yes, that's, right. that's how I encourage you, you the one who are watching. Read the word from yes. Genesis to Revelation. God will reveal you things so that talks about the occult and witchcraft, and this God will give you the opportunity for you to repent. God does not take pleasure for the dead of the wicked. God wants you. That's one of the reasons he came down here on earth, not for good people, for people like you who are lost completely into the occult. That's the nice. devil will yeah. give you success. He will give you money. He will give you fame. He will give you popularity but after that mm -hmm. he will come after he will be after your soul that's why we're seeing a lot of people in a mental institution that's why we're seeing a lot of people with incurable problem it's because they got themselves rooted into the occult and i did that and uh, finally i received a spirit i got baptized i received a spirit they called genie and before i could invoke the spirit i have to drink perfume bottle of perfume i drank i do not know how many bottles of perfume to invoke the spirit and sister johnny when the spirit will descend the spirit will start now uh, 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 it was a more divination people will come to me when i was in, in belgium they will come to me i'll be predicting and telling them things but they did not know the secret because those who are in your court psychic medium palm reader do not let them lie to you they do not know anything about the future the future belongs to god so, but what they're doing, it's just try to get in touch with your human being spirit. That's why when you go sometime, you'll see there'll be a time of silence. And they have a, a crystal ball a lot of times. Something to distract you. But what are they really doing? They are trying to communicate with your human being spirit. Because your human being spirit, according to the scripture, it knows everything about you. Your present, your past. Your future. Is that the same as a familiar spirit? Yes. Okay. It will communicate and tell them everything. Oh, right. this is a humbe. So those spirits are talking to one another. And exactly. that's what they're, they're tuning into, not Holy Spirit. But not an Holy spirit. spirit, an so, evil spirit. So the pork, you were prohibited from eating pork. Pork meat. So you went to a friend's house, and unbeknownst to you, there was pork in the meal? Yes. And you I ate I went it. to see a friend in Belgium. He cooked, uh, you know, in Africa, we have a special dish that makes a lot of uh, meat. Mm -hmm. So I asked him, what did you cook? He said, well, I cook uh, chicken and beef. And I said, okay. When they ate, that's where my struggle started. And so what mm. happened after you ate the pork? Uh, when I ate pork, that's when so my So you make a deal with the works. devil, he follows mm. through to 
to, oh, to yes. destroy you in oh, the end, yes. right? The gift of God is without repentance, but the gift of the devil is with big repentance. Yes. You will pay the price. The yes. devil, if you disobey, there is no other alternative except death, suffering, pain. So what happened? And I got sick. That's when I went out of my mind, crazy. How long after you had that meal did, oh, did it well, start occurring? Well, it did not just when I had that meal, I stopped feeling funny. Mm. And then the next day, that's when I wind up sick, crazy man. Really? And so oh, now what, what, what was your family saying? They had to know something had happened to you. Well, my family that time, they were in, 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 in Congo. I was in Belgium going to university and uh, doing medical school and they did not have no other alternative. I went in this uh, tropical hospital. They found that I had bone cancer and uh, they did everything, could not help. One of my daddy's friend decided to send me to Washington, D.C., George Washington University Hospital mm -hmm. for my treatment. So now how long did you have cancer when you made the trip to America? Uh, I, uh, it was uh, just, it was probably a couple months. And it was so bad to a point that doctors said that I was going to die with it. So you get on a plane, and yeah. what happened? Got on a plane, going to Washington, D.C., got there, going to George Washington Hospital. Things did not work. My situation was getting worse and worse and worse and worse to a point that decided to go back home on the plane. That's where I met my miracle. God, if God want to bless you, he will use a human being. No, when no. Satan want to curse you, he will use a human being. So when That's you right. got on wow. the plane after they couldn't do anything for you, it was to go back to home, go back home to, to Congo go die, to die. To die. Okay, so you're on the plane. Who did God send? Uh, one of the reasons they told me uh, for going back is say, you know, to ship a dead body costs more, is more expensive than shipping, okay. than sending a, 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 a life body. So... It's almost dead. <laughs> yes, I was almost yes. dead. On the plane, I met with this white, beautiful woman of God, Sister Barbara Casual. She prophesied in my life. Uh, she looked at me straight in the eyes. She said, from this day, you are being set free to serve the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. The anointing and the power of the Holy mm -hmm. Ghost is upon you. The Lord will heal you back in your country or bring you back to America. God will use you in the higher dimension in the area of deliverance. And that's when, and she looked at me again, the most important thing, he said, you know what, son, uh, if you go to Mecca today, Muhammad's tomb is still occupied. But I got the good news, if you go to Israel, Jesus' tomb is empty, yes. the power of resurrection. Hallelujah. He excited me, and that's when I accepted Jesus as my Lord and Savior. And that was the real turning point, so, but yes. the battle wasn't over. Oh, no, no, the battle was because not over. Because you had opened the door to yes. demonic spirits. Exactly. And so, when you got back to Africa, what happened and, and, and who did God send to help bring the total deliverance? Yes, so I got saved, accepted Christ. It does not mean that that was the time I got my deliverance. You need to understand that every kind of sin that you're committing down here, there is a price to pay. I will encourage you not to let nobody fool you. Your personal relationship with God is more than gold and diamond. You mm -hmm. are an instrument of righteousness that God wants to use to reach others. When I went back home, that's when I went and met with my spiritual father, Pastor Richard Kalonji. Pray for me for three days. Boom. I was delivered from, for, I don't know, from, I don't know how many evil spirit. I usually say seven, but he told me, say no. There were plenty. <laughs> and I received the Holy Ghost. Oh, My God, it was hallelujah. just tremendous. The power yeah. of the Holy yeah. Spirit. Yeah. And you yeah. told me, you've told me years ago, Pastor Humby, that um, the power of the Holy Spirit is so much greater, greater. than yes. the power of darkness. Oh, amen. amen. Yeah. That's one of the reasons I'm living today. As yes. I'm talking to you, my doctors, they, don't, they do not believe why I'm still living. Amen. I got poisoned. My food got poisoned. I have a high level of mercury, lead, and can, uh, uh, arsenic. I mean, if I show you my medical report, you won't believe, but they say you are a living miracle just for Jesus. Oh, yes, amen. amen. Well, don't go anywhere. We've got more with Pastor Humbe. Some more questions we're going to answer when we come back, so stay with us. They are not there to, for good. They are there to arm. Everyone who's involved in the occult, their mission is to destroy. As the Bible says, 
the, the, the devil came to kill and destroy. Mm -hmm. But thank God for this purpose, the Son of God was manifested to destroy the work of the devil. Yeah. So it's not good. They don't have no power. The devil cannot heal. Yeah. If the devil can heal, so his kingdom is not going to stand. Mm -hmm. A kingdom cannot be divided. He's here for destruction. That's it. Because he hates God and he's trying he to get back God. at God. But we need exactly. to stay away from tarot cards, yes. psychics, yes. et cetera, et cetera. Yes. It, they're not from the Lord, and the Bible warns us that. against that. Mm -hmm. uh, Melanie, you had a question. Well, also, the Ouija board. Um, now, in America, at least, the Ouija board is uh, marketed by the toy company. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people don't think that it's really bad for you, that it's just a game and it's not bad. What are your thoughts on that? Well, the Ouija board, I had a lot of kids who came to see me in my church that they went just for curiosity to play. Mm -hmm. And finally they wind up being cut. Yes. You see, it's not you just going there, getting, uh, uh, asking the psychic or a medium to give you this, to give you that. The fact of you going to that place is the enemy camp. Mm. That's why David, every time he has to ask permission, before even he, goes, he can go engage himself into a battle, he has to ask permission to go. Wow. So the fact of you going there it's a sign of disobedience. What the Bible tells us about disobedience. Disobedience is just like a spirit of witchcraft. Once you go there, I don't care how big is the Holy Ghost in you. You are now covered by that spirit. The umbrella of divine protection of God is away from you. Wow. And there you are open. Mm -hmm. And demon, especially if you're not working in the fear of God, demon can have power to enter and torment you mentally mm -hmm. and mess up your life. Mm -hmm. A lot, of, a lot of really bad stories from, yes. from kids playing with Ouija boards, not mm -hmm. understanding they're opening a they door open. to the supernatural. It's not the Ouija, uh, the Ouija board. It's the spirit behind it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A yeah. spirit, when I used to be involved into witchcraft uh, uh, in Africa, people were involved into witchcraft. They can make this table move in the space and walk and talk. Mm -hmm. It's not the table. Mm -hmm. It's the spirit behind it. Yes. Wow. Cindy, quickly. I know we only have um, a few seconds. Should... Should a person be worried if someone says they put a curse or a hex or a spell on someone and you know that that person is involved in witchcraft or the occult? Yeah, you need to really worry and start praying and start fasting because they don't care if you read in the book of Ezekiel chapter 13 verse 17, it tells you even those, the righteous, those who knows God, you cannot fool with things like that. But what you need to do, the Bible says, we, we don't have to work with fear. God did not give us a spirit of fear, power, love, and sound mind. So greater the one who is in us than yes. the one who is in the world because the spirit of Jesus is a sp su superiority spirit that Jesus himself, he is above all principality, powerful of darkness. Mm -hmm. We cannot work with fear, but don't get involved with mm -hmm. those people. Pray and fast. That's it. Yes. Our world is filled with dark influences, the occult. It's all around us. People yes, minimize right. Satan so much, like he's not real, like he's a fairy tale. Yeah. And they don't understand the consequence of those choices. We met with Pastor Rahumbe and then we kept the cameras rolling for an uncensored discussion on the occult. We need to learn how to work in the fear of God. That's the only protection for us. Join us now on Joni Table Talk. Welcome to Table Talk. Today we're continuing our discussion from yesterday on the occult and the dangers of being involved in its practices. Now, Melanie, you have past experience with the occult involving the use of the Ouija board. Tell us about that. When um, I, I got saved and filled with the Holy Spirit when I was about 11 years old. Mm -hmm. I only spent a couple years in the church and um, backslid for a number of years, so I was an adult and I came back to the Lord. But anyway, in that time, late teens, early um, 20s, uh, we started playing with the Ouija board at parties. And so it was a drinking game. Mm -hmm. You would drink alcohol, and then you would play with the board. And we thought that we were talking to human spirits who were dead mm -hmm. and lost somewhere in the middle. Mm -hmm. And um, um, they would actually manifest and talk back to us. And to the point where our hands didn't even have to be on the board. Yes. It could move by itself, mm -hmm. you know, because you're supposed to put your hands on the board and it moves you. And um, there was, I can remember that we were in, we would, we would always be at this one girl's house and she had a mirror on the window and the face of that, we thought we were talking to a little boy. 
his face would show up and he would talk to us and we would ask him questions about his life and and he was trying to get you know through to the next realm and we would talk back and forth to him and and um, I remember she had this um, the, you know Jesus. like an armor soldier armor like medieval like how they have decorations mm -hmm. that are about this mm -hmm. tall mm -hmm. and I remember one night while it was talking to us the armor was gesturing like it was talking <laughs> and you know we were just laughing and thinking that was so funny because we were very intoxicated and but we really had a relationship with, with that demon, demon. Mm -hmm. we cared for that demon we loved that demon we wanted to be with him during the day when we were not drunk we would miss him we would wow. talk about him we, we were friends with him you know but things started happening in everybody's lives and um, <laughs> all those people are not living today. Wow. You know, there were some very serious consequences. And, uh, because that door we didn't was even open. Make covenants, but the door was open, open. And it opened, like one of the things that I, that I say in my testimony, and you, you have to be very careful about this, but when I got saved as a young child and went back to the world, Knowing God and then denying God denying and leaving God. Him. Yes. You invite so many things that you would have never experienced. So had I not gotten saved, mm -hmm. God. I would have not experienced exactly. all those things exactly. except that I denied Him. Yes. Yes. And so it was so hard to come back, back. to Him. Mm -hmm. and, and so you don't fact, play around with God. No. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and you don't play around with the devil. And people that's, that's minimize Satan so exactly. much. They minimize it like he's not real, like he's a fairy tale. Yeah, exactly. And they don't understand the consequence of those choices. But you know, the thing is here, my sister, a lot of people, a lot of in the churches, we only focus on demons. But do you know that we do also deal with human being a spirit? Hmm. Oh, yes. If you read in the book First Samuel, where uh, Saul uh, wanted uh, to uh, get information. Uh, and, and Samuel, the prophet, was already dead. He went to the medium in Endor and went to seek help. He wanted to get some instructions uh, about the war that he was going to face, the Philistines. So he went and uh, told the medium. The medium asked, he said, what do you, who do you want me to call, to invoke? And uh, uh, so say, I want to speak to Samuel. Yeah. Samuel was dead, buried. And what the Bible tells us, mm. the ground start cracking and the spirit came out and start speaking with uh, soul. And was it really Samuel? Because there are pastors today no. teaching that that wasn't no. really. No, the Bible tells God is above principality power. God can do anything. A fallen angel can take a form of a human being, okay, and then come. Which are what I really believe is this. The Bible says it's one is called to a man to die once. Yes. After that is a judgment. That's right. But a lot of premature death, like people who have killed themselves before their timing, okay? Or if there's you, a tragedy. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. God knows the, t the day you are going to die. Yeah. There is a day that God has designed for you to die. Mm -hmm. yeah. If you die before that, su suppose today you decide to go and kill yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, your human being spirit will air here. That's what you call a ghost. That's why in my country you see them everywhere. Mm -hmm. You go to Haiti. Why Haiti went through what they went through? Let us be honest. A nation that does not know God is a cursed nation. They have an opportunity. That's why missionaries have to take this opportunity yes, to go and evangelize there. Yes. It's because of witchcraft. You know, well, Lester Summerall talked a lot about this too, that yes. demon spirits um, and familiar spirits, like what he's talking about, human being spirits, yes. will dwell in places of tragedy. Exactly. They will take on the person or the event mm -hmm. where the tragedy took place and imitate that. Exactly. Perfectly where you actually believe this is where this young girl was killed. Mm -hmm. or you hear about haunted houses or mm -hmm. those kind of things, but they are not actually those individuals. No, but they are a, they are demon spirits yes. that are, yeah. you know, coming in that form. Yeah. Like and, in uh, Haiti, they had the sister Johnny, what you call the 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 voodoo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You take a voodoo priest will go with you in the cemetery if you know where they bury your great grandfather. I don't care, fifty years ago, mm -hmm. they will go and invoke the spirit. And your great grandfather will come and stay with you in your house. Now, like, I ask them a question: Is it really your grandfather? 
No. So is it? This is, that, is, is in the a, this last day, fallen angel. There's a demon pretending. No, I think it's not be really a person. demon because there is a difference between a demon and a fallen angel. A demon does not have a spiritual body. He cannot. He cannot. Uh, incarnate into a physical body and come like this. Mm. Okay, that's why they love possessing human beings. My experience into witchcraft. Okay, and, 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 and a fallen angel, they're the one who can have a form of a human being. You are dead, there, buried, but they have this ability to look like you, talk like you, to come and deceive you, mm. thinking that is a person who died. No, it's not that person. Mm. Because you're living with a zombie. What, what about transference of spirits? We hear that a lot. Yeah, transferring a spirit is it's, it's real. Uh, like what I'm saying, like psychic and medium, they have specialized in it. When you go see a psychic and medium, they say, well, we are going to help you in this and that, and, and we do this, and so we're going to remove this problem that you are having in you, this and that. What are they going to do? They don't remove the problem. They can take the same thing that you are going through and put it somewhere else. Suppose you went with a neck, a, a neck problem. They will command that demon that is tormenting your neck to go back to your leg. Ah. Okay? They know ah. how to do these things because I was doing these things. That okay. makes so much sense, though, because, they, because you think you've been healed no. when really it's just a relocation yes. of pain. Yes, mm. they will transfer it somewhere else. Ah. And they can. That's what I tell Christian. Only your pastor, let him lay hand on you. Mm. The laying of hand in the Old Testament and New Testament is impacting whatsoever it's in the man. The man will only give what he got if he does not have the fear of God. Right. What is it really going to put in you? So you, you do need to use wisdom. Use wisdom. Because, I mean, like the Bible talks about call the elders. And, yes. You know, but, I mean, you should only allow people that you know exactly. their walk with the Lord. And it's very important them, because right? people pray manipulative prayers. Yeah. yeah. Like, I've heard, like... Do you know uh, how many people oh come up to goodness. me at churches? I do not not know who they are. And I know some of them are well-meaning, some are precious. And they want to grab me, first oh, yeah. thing. I know. And they say, the Lord told me to pray for you. I know. I, always I mean, say, and you don't you want to hurt their down. feelings. You know? I, this is what I tell them. This is what I tell them. When people say that to me, I say, thank you. Will you write that down for me? Mm -hmm. Because that's not spoken and you're not laying hands on me. And I can take that paper and don't and not, allow them to not pray have for it. You. Really need because to I, do you know what I'm going through? I have not shared with you. They brought me this girl. She was a sorcerer, high level here in Dallas, high level. So she went, I think she disobeyed, went out of her mind. Crazy. H-E-B, mental. Uh, institution. She went there. The doctor kicked her out. So oh. they called me and um, I went and uh, I heard the Holy Spirit telling me, say, you have to go for 21 day prayer and fasting. You know, deliverance ministry, I don't like it, to be honest with you. <laughs> I'll render become a politician and do what I'm doing. It's a very dangerous ministry. Yes, it is. You yes, need to be is. honest and shut the door of entry. You know what's happened? This girl will urinate in the church, will take her clothes. We used to tie her with ropes. For 21 days, the 20th day, her mind came back. She started repenting. Mm. Will urinate in the church, will take her clothes. We used to tie her with ropes. For 21 days, the 20th day, her mind came back. She started repenting. Repenting. Think she was telling me here in America? Let me tell you something. We need to learn how to work in the fear of God. That's the only protection for us. Yes, Don't let nobody I fool you. That. It's mm. the beginning of wisdom. Wow. I was the number one on the list of people, wanted to people. Mm. Mm. To a point that she told me they have assigned three witches in my church. I had them. In the leadership, the man who wow. weighs on me, the woman. In the leadership, my assistant pastor. She My was a God witch. Today. My goodness. Mm. They have already infiltrated. The spirit of Antichrist is so active in the churches than mm. outside. They hate you and I. Well, don't move. We've got more with Pastor Ahumbe when Table Talk returns. What about 
the so-called good witches, which is very popular in our culture right now. Wicca, <laughs> white witches. White they're yeah. not bad, Pastor Humbe. They're no. good. That's what they're telling <laughs> us. <laughs> Listen, there is not a such thing as a good, good witch. witch. <laughs> Only in fairy what tales. Are they, huh? What are they doing? What are they really giving you that will contribute to your salvation? Mm. They are good. just there for your destruction. Mm. Remember, it's the just Bible says, yes, the you Bible declares Satan is very mm. wise. Okay? The angel. devil is not going to come. Angel of light. That's He's what I was an angel. Too. Yes, an angel of light. He's not going to come with a black horn and uh, scare you. No. He's not going to come with a black horn and uh, scare you. No. He knows the scripture more than you, more than you and I. Yes. So he has infiltrated himself in the churches. So we don't have to believe in every spirit. And the, Test the spirit. The thing about it, Pastor Humbe, is that the word of God tells us yes. to stay away from this. Exactly. So if we know what the word has to say, mm -hmm. and that's part of what's so important in exactly. all of what we're talking about. If you read the Deuteronomy chapter 18, that's what the Bible is talking about. It's talking, it's talking about... Uh, uh, if you come to the land which the Lord your God has given you, you shall not learn the abomination of those nations. They shall not find anyone saved and born again in Israel. That will be involved into witchcraft. You cannot even go before psychic and people who are predicting the future. You cannot even go to someone that does, that does not have the Holy Ghost and go relate them your dream for them to give an interpretation. Mm -hmm. What kind of spirit is pushing them to interpret? Mm -hmm. It takes That's the Holy true. Ghost. A lot of Christians, they get dreams, they go to their friend who are not saved and born again. You need to go to, to a friend who is filled with the Holy yes. Ghost. Yes. It's the Spirit of God in you and me that gives us the ability to interpret, to bring miracles and signs and wonders. And who, who, who are you tuning into? What mm -hmm. spirit? Exactly. And there's the Holy Spirit, which is the Spirit of God, which is the Spirit yes. of Truth. And then there is the Spirit of this world. Mm -hmm. And the Antichrist, like, like you were talking about, is very dangerous to play around with this. And if we could see into the supernatural realm, Pastor Ahumbe, then we would actually see sp spiritual beings, light and dark, mm -hmm. that are walking upon the earth exactly, today. Exactly. But, but we don't have a lot of a spiritual eyes to see or discern what's going on with a lot of people that are right around us and right in the very atmosphere. First Corinthians chapter 2, it says, you have eyes you cannot see, hear you cannot hear, things that God has reserved for those who love him. And there are also things that the devil has reserved for those that he hates. You and me, the devil hates us. It's, he knows yes. because of you and I, he has been kicked and lost his mm -hmm. position. So he's after you and I, 24 hours. That's why the Bible declares we have been, we do not fight against blood and flesh. We fight against principality, power, forces of darkness and heavenly places. But we don't have to fear these things, but greater the one is in us. Yes, you know, we just, we just did a whole series on uh, pornography, which yes. is a huge problem oh in the church God. today. You talk about another huge door. But um, one of the things that was so interesting to me is how if we could see into the spirit realm actual spirits of lust that are oh. attached to individuals who are involved in pornography and sexual addiction and all these you, just like you were early on in your testimony exactly. Exactly. Um, that they actually call to one another mm -hmm. oh, yeah. and, and as they're sharing their stories you'll hear well they connected with this person and that mm -hmm. person and, mm -hmm. and you know those spirit, spirits actually call out to one another exactly mm -hmm. exactly and probably the enemy plants those people in their mm -hmm. lives as well. No See, the Bible declares also in 1 Corinthians 7, say, uh, uh, the Bible declares uh, every sin that the man commit is outside of the body, but the sin of sexual immorality. Let me tell you something. Pornography, it's so intense in our churches. The worst part is that even leaders in this last day, they it's are hooked up on it. Yeah. And, and homosexuality has become another thing that, I mean, it's really, you cannot even talk about these things anymore. But people are perishing. They are dying. Mm -hmm. yes. that, and that's the reason, because yes. they're not talking about it. Yeah. They, it this is critical. Yeah. Every subject that is taboo 
is, is a sure sign that you should be addressing it. Mm -hmm. If it's taboo, everything needs to be exposed in a godly Especially manner. Especially in the church. With, in, in the church. That's, that's what, what I mean. mean. Or do we like stick our mean. head in the yes, sand, you know, you know yeah. and pretend like it, it does not That's what's going happening. On. And so it keeps growing and festering like cancer yeah. when we won't address it. You know, you said, presented a problem in my mind, and I bet you somebody think, uh, watching, you've said that, stated that the enemy is very wise, very old. He's ancient, too. And here we are with a problem of lack of knowledge. Mm -hmm. And we're being faced with this. Mm -hmm. What do we say to people we run into that, you know, you can even perceive that they are dealing with the occult, they're talking occulty, occultish, uh, you know, their horoscope, uh, their every horoscope day. Every, what is something that we can do to protect ourselves or to help them come to Christ? The only thing you can do to protect yourself is by you learning how to work in the fear of God. That's it. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of all wisdom. Yes. I am a man when I got saved, born again, television on this, the TBN and all kind of stuff. But hypocrisy was so bad. Abusing my own wife, beating my wife. As a pastor, what's happened? I got attacked back. The same demon back in the country that attacked me back in the country. Your, wow. your gift, it wow. does not protect you. No. Your gift does not protect you. Mm -hmm. What protects you is the fruit of the spirit that comes out of you. You will know a tree by its fruit. Mm -hmm. Don't yes, let nobody yes, yes. lie to you. I have seen, I cannot come here and give names. Yeah, right. Struggling with homosexuality. Yes. It's now in the bloodline. Mm -hmm. The children wow. in it. And I tell you name, you won't believe it. Mm -hmm. But they're very successful, very powerful. Yes. But yet the devil does not care about how anointed you are. Mm -hmm. The only thing he fears is the, 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 the fear of God in your life. Mm -hmm. wow. Something that you just said was so important. I think it's important to say it again. And you said your gifting will not protect you. It's no. the fear of God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I think that we have become numb. We've become desensitized to that importance that we really need to fear God, not that he's trying to strike us down and waiting for us to make mistakes, Amen. but that he protects us and Amen he's the only that. one yeah. who and, has and that not, power. And not fear from beating or whatever, but reverence. Yeah, it's reverence a reverential fear. Is, is it's what, it's, what we it's mean. that you love God more mm -hmm. yes. than any sin yes. Yes. that may tempt you. That's why I love you mm -hmm. and your husband, not to flatter you. I watch your relationship with your husband the way you 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 willing to let the gospel go through this television, congratulations. The Lord is going to take you far away. Continue that way. Well, you know, years mm -hmm. ago you prophesied over us. This is probably, I know, at least 15 years ago mm -hmm. when we first came to the city. And one of the things that you said, and y'all love hearing this, <laughs> um, it was back when our very first set in Las Colinas, it was a rented set, it was just one, we were just one channel, <laughs> channel 29, and uh, you said to us, in fact, y'all get tickled, Pastor Rahumbe called me a dog. <gasps> yes, he called me a dog. He said, your <laughs> wife is going to be like a dog. Oh. She will see things and she will hear things before you do. The Lord has put you together That's you know, awesome. to, That's to do awesome. mighty things. Yes. And so that he meant it as a compliment, That's but I kid him about it. But um, yeah, but I remember, so I don't know if you remember that, yeah, but remember. you talked about how the Lord would use I us, you know, as a days. couple. If I see the station today where you are, this is just the beginning. He will take you far away. Amen. Yes. Well, stay with us. We continue with Pastor Humbe and our discussion on the occult for a few more minutes when we get back. As the Bible declared in the book of Joshua, chapter 1, starting verse 3 through 9, you meditate in the word, you pray, you take a day that you're going to be able to fast without knowing anybody knowing. 
and pray and do that, the Holy Ghost will come in your life. That's one of the reasons Jesus came here on earth. We're not going to scare people. We do not share these things to bring fear in your life. You are valuable before God. You are more than gold, diamond, and silver. He want to use you. So the only thing, repent, come to him, follow the teaching, and God will use you in the greatest way. Yes. Amen. And in a simpler form, just say, Lord, I want everything that you have for me. Yes. Fill me with your spirit. spirit. I want to be led by your spirit. And uh, I want to do that that is pleasing in your sight. Amen. And uh, did you want to add anything to yeah. that? And I, I want to encourage you that there are great um, mysteries of God that will re be revealed to us by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes. As we study yes. His Word, He will reveal to us. And he's, He said in a good way, in a great way, signs yes. and wonders will follow those yes, that believe. He puts His super on our natural. Yes, He does. And that kind of supernatural is that God's supernatural is great, isn't it? Yes. That's how we, we were able to build the Daystar Television Network. It wasn't, exactly. wasn't us. It wasn't what it's we did. It was working. yielding yes. to the power of the Holy Spirit. And it changed your life, your testimony. Yes. Incredible. Uh, miraculous. And the the Holy Spirit is not just uh, the supernatural wisdom and power, but it also says in the Word, He's our comforter. Yes. And yes. so and all guide. those things right. that teacher. are tormenting yes. us, yes. He yes. teaches us and He comforts us and He leads us on that path That's to good. get closer to the Lord. Yes. Yes. He, he does so many more things than just the, the power part, which is exciting. Yeah, yeah. But for all the people who are just tormented in their pain and their mm -hmm. sorrow, He really does get into mm -hmm. that place of our heart that Amen. comforts us. Yes, He is the call the comforter, isn't he? he? is the comforter. And you know what? He will be there to protect you because He's going to follow God's orders. But yes. you will not get the uh, benefits of the Holy Spirit until you yes. invite Him in yes. and that's learn good. about Him. Yes. 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 And that's when you'll That Marcus know. preaches a message on Holy Spirit. I love it. And he says so many of us are like, let's say Cindy's Holy Spirit would say, come on, Holy Spirit. We don't realize He is a divine person. <laughs> but we're not supposed to pull Him along. Exactly. We're supposed to get behind Him and let let him lead us Amen. and guide us into all truth. Amen. And he carries us through things yes. we cannot go through on our That's own. Right. That's good. He does. Well, I hope you've been encouraged today. We're out of time. Again, just pray that little simple prayer. Lord, I want everything that you have for me. And just reveal your spirit to me today. I want to thank again my guests for being here, especially Pastor Humbe. Thank, thank you so you much for much joining us. And uh, if you know anyone that's experimenting in the occult or caught up in some of the doorways, entryways that we're talking about, then call the number on your screen. We want to pray with you Hallelujah. and for you and believe that the true power of God and the Holy Spirit can touch not only you, but your family members as well. Yes. Our prayer partners are standing by. Thank you again for watching. Till next time, bye-bye for today. This has been an A-Star Television production. Are standing by. Thank you again for watching. Till next time, bye-bye for today. This has been an A-Star Television production.